Esports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Another card on my 100 cards for $10,000 list that I picked up prior to heading out to the Strongsville show is quite possibly the best action shot image of a Johnny Bench card. It's his 1973 tops. Uh, really happy to add this card to my collection, so I'm going to turn the camera around and show it off. All right, here it is. I managed to pick this one up in a PSA 6. Really liked the centering on the front. Some of these 73s are uh, pretty tough to find, well-centered. Uh, the other thing that I was looking for in this copy is some of the 73s, for some reason, uh, you tend to get sometimes the little fish eyes, the print marks around uh, the black border and sometimes around the colored circle behind the sort of the player silhouette there. Uh, but this has none of those. Nice and clean. The other difficulty I have with 73s, while I'm not so much concerned with the centering on the back, Sometimes the centering on the 73s are just atrocious on the back. This one is not too shabby. Uh, it is, you know, off center, but you can still see, usually the ones that I see have a very thin border for whatever reason on the right hand side. Uh, just the cards that I looked at just tend to tend to be to the right more for whatever reason. Not sure if it was the way uh, the sheets were cut out. I, I don't know. Um, but this is a really nice clean back and just overall very happy with the card. Now, the question I have for all of you and that I would like to hear from in the comments, I mentioned that this quite possibly could be the best action shot card of Johnny Bench. There's this one here. Of course, his other popular action shot card is his 1976. I also have this in a in a PSA 6. So the question that uh, or what I'd like to know from you in the comments, which of these action shots of Johnny Bench do you like best? And I don't think I'm missing any, but if I am missing another a really cool action shot uh, Johnny Bench card, uh, you can also sort of nominate that one as well but we'd love to know whether you think the the 73 of him doing an over the shoulder catch of a foul ball running into the dugout is his best action shot or this one here uh, showing a, a play presumably maybe uh, after someone scored at home um, with all that dust it's, it's just a classic uh, image there of johnny bench so as I always do with these videos here where I add another card to my 100 cards for $10,000 list, I'm gonna go over the numbers. Now I had for the 73 bench on my list, I assumed a PSA 7 grade and that for a PSA 7, I'd have to spend around $100. Well, this was yet another auction. Again, heading into Strongsville, um, I did really well with some auction pickups and what I got some of these cards for. So this was an auction, all in price, winning auction bid, shipping tax, $45. So just like the 68 Ernie Banks that I showed in my previous video, um, this one here I saved $55 on. Now in this PSA 6, the current VCP range in prices. And again, the VCP uh, data uh, only shows what the card sold for, whether it was a buy it now or auction. Doesn't really include shipping and tax. So on the low end for a PSA 6, uh, they go for 25 bucks. Uh, middle range, the average, $35. So maybe I was pushing a little bit higher than the average price, but I still think I got a good deal. Now on the high end, there is a recent sale within the last 12 months for a PSA 6 
for $129. Definitely an outlier. Uh, these cards don't go for over $100 uh, usually. So that was a, a unique, I, I, I looked it up on VCP. Uh, it was an eBay uh, auction. I think there were 30 bids. So this wasn't a, you know, buy it now and someone wasn't aware of what the, the true value of the card is. It was a, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I can't explain why lots of bidders came in and uh, paid $129 for a PSA 6. So again, I may have paid just a little bit more, a little bit higher than the average comp. But again, once you figure in uh, shipping and tax, I was probably right around there. And I saved $55 from what I thought I would have to uh, spend from the initial list I put together. So this is card number nine off of my 100 cards for $10,000. So for those nine cards, I had assumed I would have to spend $800 based on the assigned signed grade on my little spreadsheet. To date, for those nine cards, I've only spent $440. So I've saved $360. So essentially after nine cards, I'm only in 55% of what I thought I would have to pay for a particular grade. So if this trend continues, now I'll, uh, I'll quickly explain why that probably won't continue. But if that trend would continue, I'd be able to pick up those 100 cards for not $10,000, but $5,500. Um, the reason why I don't think I'm going to be able to maintain uh, this level of savings, uh, there are some higher price cards on this list that even to get them on the list, um, I had to put down PSA 4s. Um, and even then, the PSA 4s were $125, $150, and so on. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to get huge bargains on those. Uh, so there may be a PSA 4. I think there's a maybe a Nolan Ryan uh, PSA 4 or 5 you know, for $125. I may end up having to spend $110 or something like that to, to get it and, and still consider it a good deal. So... Um, I, I don't expect to be this frugal throughout the whole list, uh, but I think I'm doing well. So again, would love to know your thoughts, not only on this Johnny Bench pickup here, but also which of the action shots of Johnny Bench, which card uh, do you think has the best action shot of Johnny Bench? And with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.